Hi guys, my name is Noshad. Welcome to learn MVC. This is our second video to learn MVC. So directly in this video, we are going to the practical and just create the hello world applications. So in our traditional, whenever we learn something new, we are creating the first application name of hello world application. So just go to the new and just create the projects. In Visual C Sharp, just click on web. Here you can see here I'm just click on a web and uh, here is a web application but in the sub directory there is a visual studio 2012 option is there and i'm just click on visual studio 2012 there is a different different template is there then why is the different is there though in visual studio 2012 and visual studio 2013 is the very big different is there in very big changes is available like here i show you when you click on visual studio 2013 ultimate on web option there is a one template is there only and suppose you click on visual studio 2012 there is a many template is there that's a very big confusion in developer many developers are thinking asp.net is different and asp.net mvc is different but here asp.net and asp.net mvc is not a different part asp.net web form application is a different architectures to develop a web application and asp.net mvc is a different architecture to develop the web applications both are using the developing the web application but the architecture is the different so now i'm clicking the web asp.net web application and just write the name hello world just click on ok now we can see here different different template is there i am just selecting mvc because this is our mvc learner now just select the authentication no authentication because this is our first application hello world I'll explain in detail what is the authentication is there. Just click on OK. <coughs> okay. <coughs> now here MVC is created one template here. Now I just remove the auto generated code and we will start with the sketch so it's very easy to understand. There is no model. So here three main folder is there. One is controller, model, and view. This is our MVC model, view, and uh, controller. So now before the going theory, I'm just going to the practical. So it's very easy to understand. Just right click on the controller. Just click on add controller. MVC controller empty. Here many template is there. If you want to select this template, you can select. But for the starting, I'm selecting MVC empty controller. If you are selecting this one then uh, scaffolding microsoft scaffolding automatically generates some code for the pgs for the easy to write the code for the insert update delete with using the entity frame so i'm just selecting the mvc5 controller empty just click on add just pass the name of the controller i'm just passing the home don't ever try to remove this controller keyword don't ever try to remove this controller so i repeat again don't ever try to remove this controller keyword just write the name of the controller home now you can see here we have created one class name of home controller on the class there is one action home index i just remove this class and i just write from scratch okay now just save now here i'm just creating an action result public action result the name of home page not home page my home page okay, no home page. okay. sorry now the return view okay now for this action now for this action i need to create a view there is a two option to create a view just right click on the home page keyword and just click on add view. this is one option the other option is there is a home folder in view subdirectory just right click on the home folder and just click a and view right so now i'm just going to the home page just add view and just pass the view name my view name is my home template empty template there is a many template is there i'll explain you later what is the template and what the other thing is there i don't need to use layout fish 
now this is our first application just click on it now this is one of the i just entered the one message here ready one welcome to the mvc okay now just save and run the application sorry now you can see here my controller name my, my view name is my home page right i just copy this name and i just pass the name on the home controller action home page here so when i click when i call the home page they will automatically call the my home page here now run now you can see here the controller name is home stage the action name is home page see welcome to the mvc this is our view now I create again one more action here so it's very easy to understand public action now here action result the name is about the return view like now see Now just right click on the about, just click on add view. And I just pass the name of the view is same of the action user name. My action name is about, the view name is also about. Just click on add. That time no need to pass the view name on the parameter of view. Just save and run. Again, I just pass here home and about. You can see I just pass the about message something in the about page. So let's go to the about the system. see this is about page if you want to call the home page just right here home page this is my home page so it's very pretty and easy to use the control and view in the mvc just simple syntax is there just call the action result and just pass the keyword if you, whenever you whatever you want to make the name home page about contact or anything and just return the view whatever you require to create and whatever you want to show the data on the view. So it's very easy, it's very pretty to use the inspirator MVC and it's a very 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 simple and very very fast of as a result of the inspirator platform. I hope you are enjoying this video and uh, keep patient and stay with me to the end of the video. More than 50 video is there to learn MVC step by step and I hope suppose you are finished the all video in step by step and you are practicing that I believe in you are a professional in the MVC. Thank you very much for watching this video.